Welcome to Good Mythical More. You've heard a lot of DIY cleaning hacks, and we're gonna hear some today. And we're gonna learn how to clean some stuff, but we're also gonna learn that we're lied to. But first, what's the word? Can we guess the definition of today's word, which is fornophilia? Fornophilia? So that means, philia means that you like it. Forna, I mean, that's like fornication. This just Forn means you, you like sex, I think. Okay. I mean, that can't be it. You like you like to make babies. When you're attracted to the thought of you or someone else being furniture. <laughs> that that doesn't that's stupid. That, that, I, Nobody thinks that. That that that's not a thing. That's not a word. Is that in Webster's? It can't be. For, and why isn't it fernophilia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The people who like ferns. It's just made up. I don't believe it. Speaking of not believing it, um, we're gonna hear some DIY cleaning hacks. I'm into this. Uh, you've, heard, you've heard about that vinegar water mixture, throwing some lemon in there, blah, 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 blah. I wanna, I wanna learn some new ones, and I don't wanna be lied to, but we could be. Is it truly clean or a dirty lie? Ready? Mm-hmm. You can clean the dirty inside of an electric water kettle by soaking a AA battery in water for 30 minutes, then removing the battery and pouring the water into the kettle and boiling it. What? You lost me on, oh, you soak a battery and then you- You make battery and, and water. And you make battery water, then you pour it in and it, okay. Cause you got this stuff inside of a kettle, it like kind of builds up. Um, that's not. That sounds dangerous, but doesn't the, it? Well, the battery part, like, what is a battery in water going to do? Now, first of all, acid. Acid is not going to come out of a battery that's just in the water for thirty minutes, unless there's something wrong with the battery. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, this has got to be a lot. I don't think. I think this is a dirty. You're going to drink something that you've then put battery water in? Yeah, it's fake. Okay, good. I'm actually relieved to have been lied to. I take. I take it back. You can clean dirty tile grout by scrubbing it with Frank's Red Hot. Ooh. Frank's Red Hot is mostly vinegar and you can clean with vinegar, so I'm gonna say yes. Mm, I think this is also a lie because I think they're just playing on the, the, the slogan. You, you put, put that, that on, on anything, anything, including grout. <laughs> it's made up. Yeah, see? Although, I, we on, haven't you haven't tried, tried it? it, I don't I, think, I, I so. Try it. It's mostly vinegar, and vinegar's it, a great cleaning solution. I mean, it's a really good point. It's a really good point. I mean, it also point. may just turn it red, or whatever color that you don't want it to be. So maybe cleaning red grout. <laughs> <laughs> red grout. You know the old red grout. I'm sure it exists somewhere. There's red grout, In somebody's bad you taste can, of a home. You can have grout made to any color you want. Yeah. They mix it. I know. I knew a grout, a grout mixer. Remove. He, he was not happy. Two. <laughs> hard. Remove hard water stains. Food stains from your countertop. Oh. Forget the chemicals. You can simply use your own spit. Well, your spit does have what kind of countertop some reactive doing? agents in it. I do not have information on the kind of countertop we're talking about. I know that to remove your own blood stain you can use your own spit. Something about blood the, type. Your, you, no, you, something about pH. your your spit and your blood. Uh, I've heard this. Like your, uh, but this, I think this is a lie. But what if your food stain is from your own blood? This is I'm gonna say this is true. This is too general of a statement. I need to know the type of countertop. Of course you can use spit in general, but specifically? So you're saying, of course you can, but you're also guessing that this is a lie. Don't let him change his answer. Well, like a, you can use spit to clean your shoes too, but it's not, you know, it's not, spit shine. It's not a real, or it's not an actual cleaning hack. It's just like, yeah, it is weird. It's real, but yeah, you're right. I mean, I don't know what kind of hack it is. The, it says saliva has an enzyme called amylase. Um, 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 Hold on, Zay. I don't understand <laughs> what it. you just said. A M Y L A S E. Yeah. 
Amylase. Amylase. And it's used as one of the first steps of digestion, and that same enzyme can also be used to break down food spills. Oh, yeah, because food oh. is what's digesting inside your body. So it can There's, digest on your countertop, too. All right, I'll There's take a an, link underneath. Take an L says, on that one. Amylase pronunciation. Let's. Oh, that's. Yeah, well, the internet. We'll come back to it. Yeah. We'll come back to that one. Or maybe we won't. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's a uh, pressing You matters. can clean your jewelry with a healthy handful of shaving cream. Mm. Mm. I know shaving cream can be clean. Can be used to clean some things. We've we we've used shaving cream here to clean um, like paint off of our face. And off of our hands, like um, mm -hmm. it, we definitely learned that hack. This must be. So right. I think this is true. Oh, this is true. It is true. Did you guys never do that in kindergarten, where they like they give you a bunch of shaving cream and you put it all over your desk and then you can then you clean it off? I mean, mm. I think it's just no. really so that you can play with the shaving cream. But I guess it also works. You don't remember that day? You didn't have that day? Listen, we're no. not we're not from Greensboro. No. <laughs> Where they, you, There's that's lots like of a things Tom Sawyer trick, tricking you into cleaning you your own desk. Lots of that didn't make it out of Greensboro, or yeah. didn't make it all the way down to where we were. Yeah, one time in second grade, we were learning about caves. I feel like I've told this story, and the teacher turned the air conditioning as far up as it would go, so that it would be really cold for us to learn how cold caves are. Hey. But immersive like, educational experience. It was, a, and it was a trailer. We, you know, the yeah, they get really cold. Yeah, we didn't have air conditioning in Bowie's Creek. Okay, there couldn't be no cave simulation. I don't. I, don't, I just don't learn in, a, in 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 one of those trailers. It's just I refuse to do yeah, it. Yeah, I was like, hey, my education doesn't count. If you're gonna put me outside, and make me walk, like I'm in California or something, having to go outside to go to a different class. I didn't count. <laughs> Easily remove spaghetti sauce stains from white t-shirts by rubbing the stain with mouthwash first before tossing it into the laundry machine. Mouthwash. Also known as the washer. The laundry the machine, that part's a dead giveaway. This is not real. You don't um, want to put mouthwash. That's alcohol and some green I dye. I don't know what alcohol does for um, a stain like that. I, I've, yeah, I've never heard that. This seems... Fabricated. It is fake. Yeah, don't don't machine. do that. You know what you, you you can do. Speaking of the lottery machine, <laughs> if you get one of these good mythical morning minimalist hoodies that I'm wearing right now, you can get the stains out with uh, the laundry machine. But you know what? Stains are not going to show up that much on it because it's a black mm -hmm. hoodie. I mean, it's a black hoodie. It's got a it's got a mesmerizing design. Uh, throw all the stains you want at it. It won't care. Mythical.com. Get it. You can clean the rust off rusty tools by soaking them in Dr. Pepper. True. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's, mm. I link, sorry, I, I thought you were going to say yes. Yeah. So so on that one. In the same way that you can clean uh, old messed up battery terminals on your car with Coke, and I assume Dr. Pepper would do the same thing. In your windshield. Mm -hmm. Say so you clean your windshield with Coca-Cola. I put Coca-Cola in my windshield dispenser thing <laughs> you know? in my car. Yeah. In case you get thirsty, you I just. Love, I love the smell of it. I love the way it attracts the bugs. You just yeah, You just lay on the roof when you get thirsty and get hit the hit the spray button. Yeah, I just want. I, I want to wake up in the morning and go out to my car and just see a colony of ants that have just decided to live on the windshield. So then I can hit them with coke and watch them all die. <laughs> We're tied. Uh, Remove Sharpie graffiti from bathroom stalls by applying a paste of egg whites and bread flour. Let it sit for an hour and then scrape it off. Make a cookie on a bathroom stall and then get rid of... Come on, y'all. That ain't gonna work. Egg whites and what? You, of course, remember our Sharpie incident. Sharpie on the whiteboard. Yeah, incident. and you know how you get rid of that? Yes, I do. Dry erase over it. Mmm. Yeah, I'm saying this is a, a lie. Cookie. Yeah, it's a lie. All right, neck and neck. Do you have a lot of uh, graffiti in in your school bathrooms? Mm, uh, no, not really. We had a little bit. Not, I, not as much as Greensboro. I never went in the stalls. The last thing I was going to do was poop at school. 
Do you know what? Interestingly enough, as much as I am okay with pooping anywhere, I probably pooped in the Bowie's Creek Elementary School stall less than five times in my career from K through eight. I mean, cause yeah, it's, it, you're, you're subjecting yourself to ridicule. You never pooped once? Not, I, I can with confidence say not once. And I went there through eighth grade. My middle school was also there. Did you ever poop I, at Harnett Central? No. I never once pooped in, well, there has to be. You didn't poop at Harnett Central? I bet you I never pooped in high school either. I pooped at the high school. By I mean, that point I was like, I don't care. I mean, even when like I graduated from college and I started working at IBM, I would go, I would leave my cubicle and I would go up the stairs to a different floor and poop. Cause there were bathrooms that were like smaller. So were... what happened between then and now? Because you don't seem to have that problem here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> That's not me that's been pooping all over the place. What do you yeah. what do you what do you mean? I mean I feel like I feel like this bathroom here, I like to think I'm the only one that uses it at all. Yeah, you are. You I are. like to think of it as my bathroom. Yeah, I think, think nobody I think everyone feels that way about that. Oh, bathroom. everybody poops in that bathroom? A lot of people poop in that bathroom. Because they know they can't be heard in case they get a little bit loud. If you get too loud while pooping, you can be heard in the bullpen area. Well, you've ruined it for me. Okay, oh, this one's pertinent to you, Link. You can clean tar off your car by rubbing peanut butter on it, waiting a minute, and then wiping it off. I'm gonna say this is true because oil uh, often is a great way to get gum out of your hair. Peanut butter gets gum out of your hair, it might as well get, you know, so sap and tar off of your car. So the oil, oil in tar, oil in peanut butter, Breaks down tar. Yeah, that, that's that's that. I think that sounds right. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. You know, everybody you can get it poops. off your car though. Everybody poops. Yep, that's true. It does. In that bathroom, apparently. The GMM minimalist hoodie is minimalism at its most mythical. Get yours now at mythical.com.